Hi, uh, just a little recording. I wanted to tell you all about um, E Squared, which I've been uh, listening to and reading as well, and making lots of notes on. Um, it all comes about following um, being introduced to the secret, and uh, yeah. E squared is basically like the next step, really. It's the proof of the pudding, if you like. So, um, firstly, let me just explain. This isn't my usual look. Um, I haven't just stepped out of the shower. Certainly haven't just stepped out of the salon. <laughs> I am a horse owner, and I've just come back from my horse, and I'm drenched, absolutely drenched. Like, my T-shirt is drenched. Um, we're in August 2015, so it's, it's not cold. It's really warm outside. But I'm absolutely saturated uh, down to my legs. But um, yeah, I'm completely and utterly drowned. So let me tell you a bit about um, the journey that I'm on at the moment. So essentially, uh, read the book E Squared, listened to it, took notes on it. Yesterday evening, decided it was time to do um, experiment number one. So... Essentially, I put it out there. As I was putting it out there, I realised that very often I um, take my own blessings from other people's blessings. So let me explain. Essentially, what I very often will do is if, if I do something good for somebody else, I take that as a blessing for myself. Um, so I had to work quite hard on this because I don't mean to be selfish, but I really wanted something for me because that, that was what was going to prove it. And I do get a lot of joy from helping other people, um, which I didn't kind of realise until starting this, but but I genuinely do. So let me tell you a bit about my day. So um, I've gone up the yard, I've ridden my horse, that's all grey, mucked out, gone through the usual, bloody bloody, had a lovely time, really lovely chat with a friend of mine. And I'm starting to think, you know, what's going to come of this? What's going to come of this? And uh, And then as I was leaving the yard... Um, I checked my phone. I was I was waiting for a message, so I checked my phone. I'm a motorbiker, so I'm quite into um, going out with the guys and my husband and having a great time with the girls on on our bikes, motorbikes. I was waiting for a message back from somebody to tell me whether they had some leathers in stock. So I was hoping to go up to see you know some sets of leathers today. As it is, um, I I sat in the car waiting to leave the yard I was drowned and uh, I flicked my phone on and I'm looking for a message no message I thought God, I thought that was gonna be my blessing you know this guy's gonna have a message for me uh, he's gonna be telling me that he's got lots of levers in stock that I can go up and try this afternoon and all this so then I messaged him any news um, you know did you have anything in stock that might might suit in the colors I want the size I want bloody bloody and uh, he messaged me back, no, no, sorry, I only got one suit, which is going to fit my husband, not me. So, uh, so, fucker. so that's not my blessing. Okay. Then one of the ladies at the yard was also leaving at the same time as me, and um, I heard a car making a funny noise. I thought, oh, Christ, uh, that's not going to go anywhere. And um, she calls over to me, oh, have you got any jump leads, Lisa? It's like, oh, no, I haven't. Then one of the guys comes out from the yard and uh, we push the car and we push the car and we roll it down the hill and we get to the bottom and it still won't bloody go. So we parked it up on the flat in the car park at the bottom of the hill. I took my car down, jump started it, and that gave me joy because I'd helped her. So then I'm driving home and I'm starting to feel a bit despondent and I'm thinking, bloody hell, you know, I did ask something specifically for me and I don't mean to be selfish, but that wasn't for me. And I know I took joy in doing it. You know, I know how to jump start cars. That's fine. I can do that. Um, obviously, the lady in question, she was over the moon because it meant she could get home, not be stuck and not wait for the AA and blah, blah, blah. And it was teeming down with rain. So I walked indoors and I'm a little bit like, Woof. And I say to my husband, God, you know, I was really hoping for something for me, but I wonder if that, doing that, um, helping out, was maybe what my blessing was all about. And uh, maybe I just need to take it on the chin and, you know, rerun it, change my intention, do something different. Um, so we're chatting and he makes me a coffee. And I looked across to the left where my coffee was placed. And this morning when I woke up, it wasn't raining. 
And so I wrote this note. And on this note that I saw as I reached across to get my coffee, it says... All. Sorry, I got a call coming in. So yeah, the note says, Water plants all! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. It's frigging peeing it down, guys. And I looked across and I saw the note and I just burst into tears. Because I was like, that was my note. I didn't even consciously write this morning. I did write it, but I wasn't consciously aware I was writing it. But I just knew it was really dry, really warm. Water plants all! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. And so I wrote on there, funny. Ha ha ha. So, um, that's my experiment one. Have fun with it. Uh, grow, develop, change your mindset. Yeah. So now, I'm going to have a hot bath. Have a great day. Bye. Next time you see me, I won't be looking like this.